Hello, my name is Aram Arturosian and I'm going to show you how you can run Sage on an Apple Mac. Those are my contact details in case you've got any queries or I could be of any help. So what I'm going to do is look at the various different options that are open to you and then I'm going to demonstrate each one of those. Uh, the presentation should take no more than 10 minutes. As you know, Sage is a leading supplier of accounting applications and it produces various different flavors of uh, accounting solutions. Sage 50 is the most popular uh, and that's a PC-based application. Uh, and there are other things in the suite, including Sage 200, 500, 1000, CRM, and so on. The larger products are pretty much client server applications, which means you have a server and then you have a desktop application like XP to connect to it from. So how do you run Sage on a Mac? Well, there are various options available, but all of them use Windows in the background. You have full desktop and public applications as your two main options. In a full desktop application, you have uh, something that pretends to have uh, Windows on the same machine as the Apple Mac. So there are two leading applications, one by a company called VMware called Fusion and another one called Parallels. Basically what happens is on your Mac you have this application running and within that you have Windows running. So your machine is actually running two different operating systems simultaneously and I'll show you that in a minute. The other option is to use something called a remote desktop client whereby you can connect to a machine that's already running Windows somewhere on your network or on the internet. In those two scenarios, you get the full desktop experience of uh, whatever you've connected to. The other option is instead of giving users all of the desktop, you might just want to publish a particular application to them, i.e., for example, just Sage. And we can have a look at that in a second. So VMware and Parallels um, run within the Mac OS operating system and then when you switch those on within that you then run whatever operating system you want. It could be Windows XP, Windows 7, Linux or anything else that you want. Remote Desktop Client on the other hand is just a little connectivity tool which sits on the Mac machine and what you do is you tell it which computer you want to connect to and we'll have a look at those in a second. Published applications on the other hand uh, are discrete uh, programs that you can run so you can't get to the operating system, you can't go to file manager, you can't go to my computer. You can run, for example, in this scenario, either Microsoft Office or Paint or anything else that you want, but that's all you can do. So it's a lot more lockdown secure. So let's have a look at the demonstration. First of all, we're going to look at VMware Fusion. Well, in fact, that's what I've been using right now to do my PowerPoint presentation. If I come out of that, you can see that on the right left hand side here I've actually got the control panel for the virtual machines. So these things are called virtual machines because they don't actually exist. And I can have multiple ones running. In this particular case I've got an XP one running and here it is. And if I was to escape out of that you'd see the familiar Microsoft PowerPoint user interface and if I come down you can see that I've also got Sage running in here. So um, just the normal Sage application running within a Windows environment all within the Mac. And this is a full XP machine, just as you would have on your desktop. The alternative is the remote desktop. So what I can do from here is connect to another machine on my network. Uh, but in this scenario, I don't actually have that machine running on this Apple Mac. It's uh, sitting on a different machine somewhere else. And what I can do is just uh, put in my username and password, as I would do normally, and there it is. Now, this is a lot more efficient on the machine because obviously it doesn't use any of the resources of the machine. So that's much, much better. But again, in this particular scenario, I've got the entire desktop with all my applications running. The final scenario is one whereby I can select a particular application. So. In, in terms of publishing applications, here's one. So for example, I might just want to go and launch Sage the Line 500 version six. And there it goes, it's starting it in the background and all it's gonna give me is that program and that program alone. And again, I can just uh, connect to the particular server that I want from it. Put in my username and password.
and there we are. And that's Sage Line 500 running on the Apple Mac. So you've got different options. That's application publishing. That is a remote desktop session. That is a virtual machine. Well, I hope you found that presentation of use. Um, please feel free to uh, contact me if we can be of, uh, if I can be of any help. Uh, Red Eye Solutions are a Sage business partner, and uh, we'll be more than happy to discuss your requirements and. Uh, uh, advise you on how to set your infrastructure up. Uh, we also have a hosting scenario so that uh, uh, should you wish to just focus on your Apple networking, uh, we will be more than happy to host any Windows based uh, server application for you so that you can just uh, access it securely across the internet using a remote desktop client. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, please feel free to contact me.